So you were presented with a choice uh, between a fully outsourced option and a partially outsourced option. And you uh, gave the direction, you made the decision to say you want the partially outsourced option. Is that correct? Made that decision. Pardon me? I made the decision to go to a model you that made... would use staff augmentation okay. and our existing cloud and leverage existing code. I so made that you, decision. You, you... You, you, made, you made that decision, and you are telling us that you, at the time you made that decision, had no idea that there were specific companies associated with specific options. Like nobody mentioned that uh, GC Strategies is presenting this option and Deloitte is presenting this option. You, 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 you made that recommended technology direction in complete ignorance about which companies were behind which option. Is that what you're telling us? Thank you, Mr. Chair. That is not what I'm telling you. I would like to remind the committee that this was not a $54 million in March of 20. That's not my question, sir. That's not my question. Answer the question. You have an obligation to answer the question. That's part of the way this process works. I now, am answering the question. Uh, no, you're not. Could you, could you, you're, you're, you're telling me that you were not ignorant of which companies were involved. So when you were presented with these two options, uh, a, a fully outsourced option and a not fully outsourced option, you're telling me you knew at the time that Deloitte was behind one of them and GC Strategies was behind the other? GC Strategies behind the other, and all the evidence I found will support what I just said. Part, part, pardon me, can you repeat that, please? I am saying that I was aware that one of them was Deloitte, and I was not aware that the other one's GC Strategies, and all the evidence I found supporting the, this decision around that time will support what I said. There are no mentions of so GC someone, Strategies. So someone... Okay, so someone came to you and they said, we have the option of fully outsourcing to Deloitte, or we have the option of, uh, of, of a partial outsourcing solution, but we're not going to tell you who the company involved is, and then you made the decision. Is that how it, how it happened? So about 10 days before this started, the World Health Organization declared a global pandemic. About uh, sir, not five what we're days. talking about. Not, not what we're talking about at all. This Did you answer a, my question? Thank you, Mr. Chair. This is an important context. Five days later, we, Canada closed its borders. Four days later, we unprecedentedly closed the borders with the United States. So you're already accused of lying to this committee. Could you, could you, I, I think it's in your interest to be, to be forthright and direct, and you have an obligation to be forthright and direct in any event. Is my description of events correct? Namely, that when presented with this choice, you were given either fully outsourced to Deloitte or this partially outsourced solution in which... They didn't tell you what the company was involved, and you made the decision in absence in the absence of that information. Is that what you're claiming? Thank Very you, quick Mr. answer, Mr. Dillon. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The decision was impartially outsourced. It's staff augmentation, and it was to build an app to replace a form. That was all it was. It was not a fifty-four million dollar decision. We didn't know that simple app. So you're not you're not answering my I, question. That is at our all.